Uh, thank you very much, Kate Burness. Welcome to beautiful Ottawa. Great place to visit, but in the context of football, the Red Blacks are trying to change that. As week six continues here on the CFL on TSN doubleheader day. Into the hands of McRae across the 30. As McRae gets it out to about the 39, Oliveira in the backfield. Out of shotgun, Kolaris over the middle, and no. A two and out. That's intended for Nick Dick Dembski. And punt return for a touchdown in this season. Sheehan, a classic end over end style, and gets a beautiful roll inside the 10. And it does roll into the end zone. Dandridge lets it do that to give up the single. Pick up three, a second and seven to the Winnipeg 30. Polaris steps up, facing the heat, and completes it to Drew Wolitarski. Hung again, nine to go from the Winnipeg 42. Polaris deeper ball, open receiver two. Nick Dembski has it inside the Ottawa 35. Three does pick up the energy now and. Second and 19 as Claros is forced to step up and he is taken down. One from 52 with Sheehan putting it down. Straight as an arrow. Splits the uprights. Beautifully done as Castillo remains perfect on the season so far. So on the second down, and they got him. Guess who coming in for Winnipeg? It's Willie Jefferson, big number in receiving yards and touchdowns in 2022. Play fake, and that's quickly completed to Dembski. His second catch and gets some yards after it. Up at midfield in a second and long, Polaris. Wide open, complete, another first down and more for Drew Wolitarski. Quarterbacks in five games. Go back to Polaris in. Takes a look into the end zone. Oh, nearly caught. Coverage there from Abdul Kenna, and it was intended for Rashid Bailey. His back never turns. Never looks back to the football, but he's just watching the receiver. When he sees Bailey reach, he reaches to disrupt his hands and creates that breakup. After the play, we have a 15 yard misconduct penalty against Ottawa, number 35. That'll put the ball on the one yard line. First down, Winnipeg. Difference, really, as you look at it. Prukop again from one away. Dakota Prukop back with Winnipeg. Back in the end zone, too. He scored a few of those. Touchdown, Blue Bombers. Good push from the right side of that offensive line. And behind the veteran guard, Pat Newfeld. As in, educate him about how great our league is and everything about it. You know, you still know they're going to oh, interception right there. The Demario Houston, and that's his fourth of the season. The Demario Houston. It's a second 12 after the loss of two. And a look off to the left near midfield for Schoen. Hey, he stays on his feet. He stays in bounds. And looks like he has a Blue Bomber first down for some good work after the catch. More ground now that the hashes are, are, are tighter. So we felt that was a good move to be able to do that. Bombers have been in second long a lot. There's a deep look. Uh, and it's nearly intercepted by Alonzo Adai. He and Dandridge were back there with Schoen. And near midfield to get it away. For Devontae Williams and coming in. Dandridge too. Williams takes it. Excuse me, Savon Scarver. In on the punt return now, 81 up and around the 15 on that return. I'm fine. Stood in, couldn't get rid of it. The heat was coming on the outside in the form of Jackson Jeffco. And deceptive speed, too. It's uh, swung out to Greg McRae, who has a big run after the catch to get it across midfield down near the Red Blacks 50. Nation of Ottawa. Trying to press for more points now, past the midway point of the first half. It's complete and wide open, Dalton Schoen. Inside the 20 and down near the 15. Here, yep. So here we go, back to work quickly. After the first down, complete. End zone touchdown, Nick Dembski. Yeah. Just like that. Took the young running back under his wing and showed him the ropes. Throws in tight coverage and completes it too, just shy of the 50 and close to a first down. It is indeed. And they work tempo. Back to it. And Crum takes off. We saw this a lot last week. 40. They're trailing by 18 points. Crum gets away, almost got away from down. Inside the left hash and Lewis Ward, like Castillo, threading the needle from a longer distance. 
And the Red Blacks do have some points to show for this difficult first half. They were able to move down and get in field goal range last time. He has time. He steps in. Deep ball, open receiver, no! Savon Scarber was in behind coverage. Pretty tough half. Blitz is coming for Crum. Can't get it away. Taken down again. It's Adam Big Hill again on the blitz. And another sack registered by that Winnipeg defense. In terms of blitz pickup and protection to give him a chance to make those throws. They put it on the ground to Devontae Williams to start this second half. And he gets it up across the Ottawa 50. This one is Crum stays in from the Ottawa 51 and a second down. Complete two, COC Mariner. Second and eight now at the Winnipeg 45, right at it. Crum, under the heat, gets away, likes to run. We've seen that before. And another good run. He's moving to create with his legs. There's three carries for 29 yards now. And, gee, somebody has a knockdown on Winnipeg's defensive line. I wonder who it is. Yeah. Seeing a third down now, Lewis Ward. He's one for one and looking to double Ottawa's point total. And, Get a little bit closer. Now a 12-point Winnipeg game on that one three weeks ago. Meeting again. Meeting again in the backfield. Walker. And this time really hits Crum hard and takes him down. The Blue Bombers on this day. And the punt by Leone. He chases McCray inside the 15. Alonzo would die. Inside his 20. Looks deep over the middle and Brady Oliveira breaks free inside the 40. Abdul Kenna finally takes him down inside the 25. Running hard. Oliveira to think to him to look into the end zone. Winnipeg touchdown. Drew Wolitarski has TD number four in 2023. To find the end zone. More pressure coming. He steps up and he gets away. And he gets it inside the 40. Second and seven at the Winnipeg 40. Crum with time. He steps up. He's going to run again. And he gets close to see where the spot is. Another Red Blacks first down inside the Winnipeg 30. Crum completes it. Cutting back. Nick Bahar. First down inside the 15. From the Winnipeg 13. Late third quarter. Might be the final play. Not quite. Taken down with six seconds to go by Adam Big Hill. Still not able to get into the end zone. Ward is three for three. Make it a 25 to nine game for Winnipeg. Up defense to face in your first CFL start. Pulls it back. Completes the pass to Hardy across the 30 and more. Justin Hardy. He cuts outside. Cross midfield to Mario Houston. Finally takes him down near the Winnipeg 35. And that is a big play the Red Blacks desperately need. Big third down here for Ottawa. Brom, the heat is coming. He gets rid of it. And Acklin has it. And he has a first down Ottawa inside the Winnipeg 20. And ended in a field goal. Needing the end zone again. And that one coming in. It's Bahar. He's inside the 15. Four touchdowns this season. One on a punt return. Trying to find the end zone here as Crum gets away for a moment and chucks it into the end zone. Nobody home as it heads out of bound. Go. Crum looking for his first. Into the end zone, no. For Acklin, and it falls shy. And the Red Blacks got close, but they will turn it over on down. And the third down and goal. So Winnipeg still in charge. Faking the handoff, dumping it off to Oliveira. Oh, he lost the ball after a good run after the catch, and the Red Blacks have it. Damon Webb, and he coughs it up after he was hit. The whistle blowing is uh, Frankie Griffin running with it, but it's another break the Red Blacks need after Oliveira had something good going after the catch. The factor that can't be denied. Run takes off. It's taken down around the 10. Hitting in first downs in the second half. Oh, Brandon Alexander comes in, and Crum was able to get it away afterwards. But on the scoreboard, which matters most, it's a big difference, isn't it? And it's not going to help here as the Bombers register another Saxton coach, and he is closing in on his 87th victory as head coach of the Bombers. That one's intercepted, Ottawa. Brandon oh, Big touchdown. A huge touchdown for the Red Blacks when their offense had been moving down and couldn't get it into the end zone on
on defense, they suddenly do. Have to go. The end zone look. They got it. Got it. Two point conversion. One score game. They'd have time. Four man rush. Claros to the right. And it's complete and a big first down Winnipeg. Eight point Winnipeg lead on the ground. Brady Oliveira grinds out about three more. Second down and long coming up. Critical and field position critical at this point for Ottawa's beat. Well, they keep it on the ground, Oliveira, and like much of this game, he's just had nowhere to go. Max Scarborough and Dandridge. Sheehan gets it away and a beautiful punt. To chase them deep, Dandridge has it. And spin and gets out at around the 15. A long field with a short amount of time. Go. Dustin Crum. First CFL start. Blitz coming. Has time. Off to the left and complete. Nate Bahar stretching to get out of bounds, and he does. Not an eight point game. Off to the right. Complete. Finds the spot. Ackland with the ball, out of bounds, another first down for the Red Black. Shoulder, he knows a hit's coming in his face. Yeah, Quickly yeah. again, Bahar. The Mario Houston, as Bahar reached out, the ball came loose, but they whistle it dead, knees down. Ottawa's offense in the second half compared to 16 for Winnipeg. Complete again and out of bounds. Oh, sorry, man. My fault. 24 seconds. Patch time over the middle, complete again. Inside the 40, it's Hardy. Can he write a different ending here? He nearly had the touchdown in that game, using his feet. With his arm now, deeper look, and caught by the heart. Did he keep his feet in? Yes. A catch for the Ottawa Red Blacks. They are getting close again. It's at the 12. And a first and 10. Seven seconds. Willie Jefferson chasing it. Crum takes off. Cuts inside. Touchdown. Touchdown Ottawa! This time Crum gets into the end zone. And the Red Blacks, incredibly, are a two-point convert away from forcing overtime. No quit in these Ottawa Red Blacks. They showed it last week, stopped just short of the goal line on the final play. This time Dustin Crum will not be denied. It comes down to this. Two-point conversion. Quickly looking in, Cut. they get it. We got a tie game. We've got overtime. The Nate Bahar. Goodness. Second and five. First overtime. Kalaros under pressure. You said don't take the sack. They just took the sack. And perfect. Right through for Castillo. Another clutch kick for him. So the Red Blacks get a possession in this. Crum steps up. Runs again. Big run. Dustin Crum to get the Ottawa Red Blacks the victory. In his first Canadian Football League start, leads his team back. And here with the winning touchdown in overtime. He scored the touchdown on the final play of regulation, leading to a two-point convert to tie it. What a magical moment here in the nation's capital.